BKFC 48 went down at Tingley Coliseum, Albuquerque, New Mexico. UFC veteran John Dodson did the damn thing. No longer obviously with the UFC. Up and down Korea, 38 years of age. This uh, the, the magician is his name the magician? That's what he calls himself, his moniker. Very fast. Didn't necessarily have a whole heap of power, I would say, for the size and his mixed martial arts career, but he is now finding a home um, since leaving the UFC. He's been uh, putting in a little bit of work, a, a wee bit of work, should we say. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. Within mixed martial arts itself, a three-fight winning streak. In BKFC, is this a, is, I'm sure this is his second fight. Possibly his third. Well, no, I think it's his second fight. And he's now the inaugural flyweight champion for BKFC. And I will say he's looking crisp. I haven't seen his, his handwork look well. As I say, he's not necessarily known as a striker per se, even though he does have some TKO wins. I'm very impressed. Uh, let's mute this and let's see Mr. Dodson putting in that work. These two little guys, five foot, what, three? <laughs> Going for it, man. The, the speed of his punches and stuff. It, there was an initial knockdown before, a knockdown push before. They're saying it was a push. He was kind of off balance kind of thing. Um, but here we go with the second. A couple uppercuts, some hooks and stuff. And the party's over. And new inaugural Flyweight champion BKFC, congratulations, John Dodson. Main event, very quick as well. Like less than, I'd say, one minute 50 or something like that. TKO, JR Ridge. Then we had a, uh, a very interesting gentleman, uh, Derek Perez. Um, Durable guy. I've seen a few of his, well, so a few of the highlights, as you know, I'm not necessarily a BKFC kind of sore per se, but Keith Richardson came out in 37 seconds and turned out the lights. Very impressive performance. Not getting paid by the hour springs to mind. Work was put in, <laughs> lights were turned out. And you know what I will say, it wasn't as bloody as it as it has been. And to be fair, it just depends on the fighters. Um, but yeah, entertaining. Uh the YouTuber slash influencer. Hmm? Joshua Moreno. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. It's Bryce Hall. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> Making his BKFC debut. Hmm? Not with big 10 ounce gloves. He's making his debut in BKFC. Number one, I, I commend him even, high, even higher for competing with no damn gloves on. Making his debut against G Perez and hmm, he looked pretty good. He got caught a few times, but I will say, um, <laughs> he um, he got the victory. There's some kind of issue with the arm and stuff, and whatever, whatever, whatever. But look, he got the victory. Calling out some other people. Was it KSI he called out or something? I don't even know who this guy is. But as I say, rate the um <laughs> the the fact that you're coming out and putting it all on the line with no damn gloves on. 
and coming out um unscathed, should we say? Yeah, that, that's it. It's um, let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts. I know people really love this sport. Um, it's getting there.